<laughs> that was a little joke. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, to go through this, Adara, um, what I have here is 3x is equal to 243. And so what we're going to do now is, ladies and gentlemen, we practiced, we practiced, um, we practiced uh, going through these, simplifying, right, evaluating smaller um, logarithmic expressions, and then condensing and expanding. And now what we're going to do is we're going to apply them to actually solving logarithmic equations and exponential equations. So the first thing, Haley, that I want you to understand is a lot of times we're going to have exponential equations. All right? We need to think, you know, what are some different ways that we can solve exponential equations? All right? And we're going to go through a lot of different process, different techniques for these. But I want to show you guys a couple examples of each. One thing I want you guys to go back through is if you guys remember, uh, we talked about the logarithm of log base b of x is equal to log base b of y. Therefore, x equals y. Right? You guys remember that was one of our rules, those property of logarithms that we talked about? Because as long as they have the same base, and I go through this gear, says so saying the same thing. If I had 2 raised to the x equals 2 raised to the 6th power, Gear said, so what would you say x has to equal? If I said 2, to the, two raised to the x power is equal to 2 raised to the 6th power, Gear so what does x have to equal? You don't even need to do any math. Just look at it. 2 raised to the 6th power. Therefore, x ha if these are equal, x has to be what number? Well, what is over here? What is the power over here? Six, right? Because it has to be, because they have the same base, right? If they didn't have the same base, it's a little bit different problem. But when they have the same base, x has to equal six, right? So you can just say x equals six. Sometimes you say, hey, the bases don't matter. So ladies and gentlemen, right here, I don't have the same base. But what I want to do, Kyle, is try to see, can I rewrite them as the same base? So can I write 243 as a base 3? Yeah, and the base 3 is going to be 3 to the fifth power. Now, and you always want to write them in the lower base. Now that you have them written as a base, I can easily just determine that my answer is x to the fifth. Okay, that's it. Done. Solved.